Welcome everybody. I am so excited to get started on our 12 week series. We are doing Sharing Young Living the Right Way. This is our Optimal Health series. I am Shannon Hudson, a Young Living Diamond with the company. You'll hear a little bit about my story in a little bit. Just want to make sure you know ahead of time that you will be able to get these slides and the recordings at Shannon, S-H-A-N-N-O-N, Hudson, H-U-D-S-O-N-Y-L.com. That's ShannonHudsonYL.com. You can also comment, post, tell me what you like, what you'd like to hear about later on our Facebook page. And that is uh, A New Hope, Y-L-E-O is our Facebook page. I also just got into Periscope, so I'm kind of excited about that. I haven't actually posted any yet, but I have plans to, so you can follow us there. I am just thrilled about this series, and I'm kind of blown away. We went on just a few minutes ago and found out that there's over 50,000 people that have registered for this series, which to me means... This is something that people wanted. This is something that people need. And so before we really go into the health topic for today, I want to go over why we're offering this service. I want to, why it's out there. And up front, I want to let you know, um, one of the questions we got is, will there eventually be a fee? And no, this entire series, all of the PowerPoints, all of the recordings, everything we're doing, this is open to everybody. Everybody can use it forever and ever. Um, we're doing this specifically because Young Living changed my life, changed it dramatically. And after your life has been changed like that, how can you keep anything a secret? There's so many people that need to know what's going on in Young Living and how to be able to share this the right way and have that confidence. I want, I want to be a part of helping train everybody and let them know how they can do it. And we have a class that is going to be um, offered as a video. It should be up there tonight, possibly tomorrow on our recordings. And it's called The Wonderful World of Young Living. And this is a 15, I think we actually added it down to 15. It started as a 20 minute webinar and it's just an introduction to the wonderful world of young living. And it's a part of this series. And you guys are gonna get to hear um, part of that at the end of this webinar. So you're gonna get a live in how and why we say the things we do and why it helps people to be able to get started and really um, jumpstart their young living business. So that's gonna be there for you to be able to just share with somebody. So you can be living in Texas and you can send this out to somebody in Oklahoma and it's that introduction and it always tells them to come back to the person that um, sent them the video. So that tool is gonna to be there, as well as all of the other videos we're doing. So all of these are being recorded and each of them are being saved individually. So when we talk about the digestive system and you give somebody that introduction, the wonderful world of young living, and they have issues um, and they're trying to keep their digestive system nice and healthy, you can send them that video as well as a follow-up. And each of the videos we're trying to keep between 35 and 45 minutes, which is really hard because I'm a talker. So I'm having a hard time keeping my times down, but we want to honor and respect the time. So you have those tools and that's exactly how you're going to use the tools. You can use them to train and educate yourself. What we're saying to our new people when we sign them up right now is when somebody first gets their kit, the first thing they want to do is work their way through all 12 of these series, all 12 of these systems. And when you're done, they're getting a certificate of completion. Now that certificate of completion has there's no legal anything. There's just something that says, hey, they invested time in their health and wellness, and they have gone through those systems, so they're going to understand what nutrients a body needs, how that system functions, what oils help to love and support on that system. And so that's just something we're kind of adding. You can keep that. You can do that yourself where you do a certificate of completion for your people. Um, some people will take the full 12 weeks where they're just doing one a week. And some people, once these are saved and recorded, they'll go through it in just like a day while they're looking at all of them. So we all have different learning styles. We're also going to try to make these available is just an audio as well take them so you can either look at them visually or you can listen to them in your car so we're working on a couple different ways of doing it um, so how do you keep sharing and building young living with the changes the sharing young living right way well let me first tell you nothing has changed and I mean nothing the guidelines set forth by the FDA FTC and all the additional government agencies they've been the exact same as they've always been the difference is we, we as a company, we as a people have been crossing the line. We've been talking about and sharing things we just never had a right to be able to share on. So now we've been called to check. It's just now we've got to choose, it's a choice, to do things the right way. And today, this webinar where we're talking, I want to empower and equip you to know that you can build this, you can build it strong, you can help people be healthy and strong and vital, and it's all a part of that. So nothing has changed. So all of the worry, it's the same as it's always been. 
The U.S. and most other countries have regulations in place designed to protect consumers. Many of these specifically regulate how natural wellness companies like Young Living market themselves. These regulations help make sure that companies are making true, safe claims about their products. So I think that's important. I think we shouldn't be throwing a temper tantrum over this. I want to make sure that those agencies are keeping things in alignment. I wouldn't want it in any other product or anything else that's out on the market. So I'm okay with that. It's supposed to be there to help protect Young Living and you. Here are some quick tips for getting the word out about Young Living products without putting yourself or Young Living at legal risk. So here we go. These are the things to avoid. And we're going to talk about this only for about 10 minutes before we get into the topic. And the rest of ours, we will never hit on this again. So you could know that when you send somebody one on digestion, it's going to start right with that system. But I want you to be equipped on how to do it correctly. So first, avoid making health-related claims about Young Living, products that are misleading, not true, or can't be backed up by scientific studies. And I'm going to pause there for a minute. I have it highlighted in black. Because a lot of times I hear people going, well, I've seen this study, so I can say it. And I've seen this study, and I have this study, the full thing. Well, here's the deal. Young Living has asked us to only use the claims that they make. And there's a really good reason for it. We're going to talk about that in just a couple of minutes here. But it doesn't matter what scientific study you have, because we don't know what the FDA says, um, what studies they say qualify. So we don't know what the parameters are. But Young Living does. So we're going to just trust them to take care of that. And again, we'll hit that in just a minute. We can never claim or suggest that our products can cure, alleviate, treat, prevent, or diagnose a disease, a symptom, or an injury. These types of claims are called disease claims. And you can see here, here's a few examples of conditions that are generally considered to be diseases that we all used to put our toe in and our two cents in on how to do things. And we're just going to change that paradigm. Um, things like colds, flu, cancer, diabetes, arthritis, osteoporosis, heart attacks, HIV, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, allergies, tooth decay, impotence, seizures, asthma, attention deficit disorder, ulcers, burns, mild abrasions, bruises, scars, head lice, obesity, anxiety, and depression. So that's just like a few thrown together. But those are things that we're going to avoid, things we're no longer going to choose to do. We're also going to choose that no matter how much success you feel you've had with a Young Living product and helping your family fight disease and avoid uh, we have to avoid claiming as much when you're sharing our products. Now, that does not mean we cannot share our testimony. I think the most, I think one of the crazy things I keep getting from people is I just can't tell what that, what um, Young Living has done for me. And here in a few minutes when we go into our topic, I'm going to share my story. Now, some of you have heard my story through the years, and you're going to see that it's been changed a little bit, but it is still extremely powerful, and it's 100% compliant. So what we're going to be talking about is the emotion of what took place in you. What did it feel like? How did your life change because of being a part of this awesome family and what kind of vitality you're experiencing. So it's going to be fun. This is going to be a good thing. We've seen great results teaching our classes this way. Um, you also have to keep away from personal experiences and that do not replace scientific studies. And when you're sharing your personal experiences in a business um, building setting, no matter how remarkable, they may count as a disease claim. So it doesn't matter how awesome your experience was, you can't talk about the disease itself. We have to avoid stating that our products can treat a disease even if you don't actually name the disease. So we can't be like, oh, well, I rubbed this oil on my butt cheek and I no longer have, you know, itchy butt syndrome. So, you know, we can't go there. We have to make sure that we're just keeping it straight. There's lots of ways to do that, and that's what this call is going to be about. Um, let's see, each, each of the things we just talked about, they violate the U.S. regulations, and regulators look at the object the objective intent of advertising statements when deciding whether a disease claim is implied. So they're not just looking for your exact verbiage. They're, what was it that you were implying when you said what you said? So we really do have to be cautious of that. And I want to point this out. I think it's huge. What did the FDA actually take from us? So if we follow all of their guidelines, what did they take? Well, they took away the drugs. We're not allowed to talk about drugs, but quite frankly, I don't want to mess with their drugs. I don't want to have anything to do with their drugs, right? So that works for me. They took away sickness. We can't talk about sickness. We can't talk about um, even the state of being sick or the state of being unhealthy or being out of un being unbalanced. We can't do that anymore. They took away diseases. I don't want their diseases anyways. I mean, they name new stuff over and over. Every time you go in, there's a new disease. They can have their diseases. And they took away death. See, 
What the FDA took was drugs, sickness, death, and disease. Those are the things we can't talk about. That's what's gone. But what did they leave? What are we allowed to speak about? We're allowed to speak about optimal health. We're allowed to speak about longevity. These are beautiful words. We're allowed to speak about vitality, abundance, energy, and life. Just saying them, we're allowed to speak about optimal health, longevity, vitality, abundance, energy, and life. There's a different feeling when you say those words. There's an energy that it creates that is a good feeling. And I'm telling you, when I speak to people that have been sharing Young Living, because we were introduced back in 2007, and I teach a ton of meetings. So every day, several times a day, I was teaching on those negative concepts, death, drugs, disease. And that, that energy, those words, that vibration, it's not healthy. It's not good for the person that was teaching the classes. But now, for a living, I get to talk about amazing optimal health. I get to talk about longevity. I get to talk about having vitality and energy, abundance. I get to talk about life, giving things. This is a different change of vitality. If you said the words yourself out loud, and you say what they took, and you say what they left us, there is a different feeling in your body. There's a different feeling and vibration. So what were we worried about? Look at the difference between them. Which one do we want? I want a life with optimal health. That's what I'm choosing. I want a life with longevity and vitality and abundance. That's what I'm choosing. So I personally, this is what I choose. They can have all the garbage. They can have all the death, the drugs, the disease, all of that. Because I choose life and Young Living partners with that vision. Young Living takes me hand in hand so that I can have the energetic life that I want to have, and that excites me. So other things we can't. So those are the words of things that were taken away. But third-party resources, I'm just going to roll through these quick because I know everybody keeps bringing them up. So I'm going to say it quick. We can't have them in the room as a tool or a reference. We can't offer them as an incentive to enroll. We can't offer them as a gift. We can't quote them in lectures, PowerPoints, or flyers. We can't quote any reference source, including scientific studies. We talked a little bit about that. We can't sell them anywhere in the room. And we can't tell them to go buy a specific tool from a specific vendor. So those are things we cannot do. But what can we do? We can have every third-party reference tool that's out there as a personal reference so that you can equip yourself and your family. This is about caring for you and yourself. And we can recommend that everyone can find more information from third-party resources such as Amazon.com, Kindle.com, LifeSciencePublishing.com. We are asked that we recommend several different sites, not just one, so that we keep it generic. And we can also offer cards from third-party resources. Um, but you can't tell them what to purchase specifically. So you can't give them a gift certificate and tell them to go get a specific resource that you think is phenomenal. And I will tell you, just this weekend at our event, LSP had gift cards. We were very excited. So the gift cards are now available. You can get a hold of Life Science Publishing and look at how the gift card program works. They're even giving us some discount cards when you buy bulk. So there's lots of things that you can do. And you're going to hear in my class that we do here in a few minutes how I reference that people really need to get their own information so they can study for themselves. It's important to tell people that we need to do that. And they can reference and research in lots of different ways. So that's one of the things that you can do. I'm going to super quick go over Zyto. Um, at this time, we've been told that if you don't know what Zyto is, you're not using it, then this doesn't really pertain to you. But for those of you that are, at this time, we've been told we're allowed to use the Zyto exactly as described by Zyto. So Zyto has directions on what you're supposed to do. But we cannot interpret the results. We can't pull out a guide and help you figure, figure out what they're supposed to do and what's going on in their body because that turns it into diagnosing, which we're not allowed to do. Um, we cannot recommend that they purchase specific reference tools so they can re um, research the results. But again, you can tell them there's lots of information, places they can go to do a little bit of research. Um, and if, if anything you do would cause another person to avoid seeing their physician, then you've crossed a line. So that's a quickie on your site, so you do know. And essential oils and supplements, what can we say? Well, we can share anything and everything that Young Living makes or creates. I'm going to pause there on that one and come back because that's a really important. We can use their words because it means that they have taken all the necessary steps required to make each claim. Now, this is a big deal. These two together are, are huge. They have a, a staff that is working on proper claims 
all the time for us. They are constantly um, updating things, finding stuff, making sure that it meets all the parameters so that it can be on there. And we can use the resources in the virtual office under sharing Young Living the Right Way. So what I'm going to do with this particular slide is let you know that in like three or four more slides, I'm going to show you how you can find these claims as they're updated and then how you're going to use them in your classes to make your classes more effective and to empower you so you feel strong when you're sharing. And I want you to know there is freedom in compliance. There really is. The, these are my babies. This is uh, from the top. You've got David and then Alicia, um, Brianna and Cassie. So these are my babies. And as a job, my mom, my job as a mommy was to equip them to succeed in every single area of their life, every area. Um, but to do that, there were things, and one of those things were household rules. And our rules were very straightforward. We always chose that we were only going to have a few rules, but we would enforce them, and we would say yes as often as possible. And the rule was, if we said no, it meant no. They could never ask again. So if they asked if they could get a snack when we were at the store, the answer was no. And so they didn't have to discuss it with us, whine at us, um, beg or plead all the way through the store. We didn't have to have temper tantrums because the statement back would be no means no. And it would just be said one time and that was always the rule. We never changed it. So it made it nice and easy. There was freedom in that. If our friends wanted, to, if our kids wanted to have friends over and we said, no, nope, not tonight, my kids wouldn't then come back and ask why and cajole and, and try another way. And even sometimes their friends would say, oh, come on, why can't I come over? And my kids would say that they go ask. And my kids would say, are you kidding? I can't ask again. Now, the, the freedom there was that they knew no means no, but they also meant yes means yes. There wasn't confusion. It didn't cause um, chaos because yeses were absolutely if I say you can do something come hell or high water I will figure out a way to make sure that happens if we say we're gonna go camping yes means yes I don't change it my no means no my yes means yes and that's the power of rules and regulations they, the kids didn't get to make the rules the rules were made by Brian and I deciding what worked for our family and our, our thing with the kids always because as they changed ages and things changed you know, they'd complain about this or that, and they'd be able to talk to us because they're allowed to discuss their opinions. And my answer was always, do you have to like it? And their answer was no. And I said, but do you have to obey? And the answer was yes, because it was, it was not a negotiation. It is what it is. With you, Young Living's job is to equip us to succeed in wellness, purpose, and abundance. Their, their job, their promise to us is that they're gonna make amazing, phenomenal products, that they're going to get us a check, and that they're gonna partner with us in wellness, purpose, and abundance. That's their job. The FDA, the FTC, the EPA, and every other agency out there has rules. And Young Living is saying from today forward, no means no, and yes means yes. We're gonna live within those boundaries. And when you get those boundaries and you realize it, there is freedom. There is freedom in that compliance. And let me say this. Do you have to like it? <clears throat> nope. Do you have to change? Do you have to obey the change? You do. That's the only option because this is the way it's going to be done from now on. So you have a choice in this moment right now. What are you going to choose? You can choose to be amazing the way we're doing it now. You can choose to get out there and change the world. You can partner with that. Or you can stay in the funk and complain and fight a system. But no means no. And yes means yes. Go where the flow is. Go where the energy is. Um, if Young Living has made a claim in their virtual office, then we can make the same claim on that product. This is where that freedom is going to come in. I don't have to do the research. Young Living has a team who's doing that for us. It's taken care of. All I have to do is use the resources that they're giving us. So here's an example for you. This was directly off of our virtual office. When you click on the product on the top of your virtual office, not on the left-hand side, not the quick order, but this is from the top because we have two different spots. And in there, it's a description of Nitro Ninja. And what I have here is I've highlighted the claim. So I'm able to talk about Ninja Rad, uh, the Nitro Ninja, and I can say that it is used to clear the mind and enhance mental fitness while also providing a boost of energy and a daily pick-me-up for when I need it. So I can use Nitro and talk about Nitro when we're talking about a class on energy because it's there. I can use it when we're talking about a class on your brain and mind um, mental fitness, right? 
So I can take their claims, and I want you to know right now there are new claims being put on there constantly. You can go to the virtual office under Sharing Young Living the Right Way, and they even have a list of claims. Last time I checked, it was like five pages long of a list of new claims that have been validated that we're allowed to use. This is where that empowering and that freedom comes in because I don't have to think about it. I don't have to be sure that I'm right. Young Living did that for me. This is a big deal. I do want you to know for those of you, because we're getting ready to transition into the um, wonderful world of Young Living, and I want to be able to go through that without any interruption. We have a phenomenal three-day boot camp that starts tomorrow. For those of you that are wanting to build a Young Living business, this boot camp is for you. This is Building to Diamond. It's going to be three solid days, 90 minutes each day. So we've got Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we are going to go over how you structure, how you close, how you overcome objections, how you um, change your thoughts so that your thoughts become more powerful. Even we're going to talk about posture and scheduling and calendars and so many different tools that I think will really empower you to be able to achieve your next rank, whatever that dream is. The class is $35 for all three sessions, and you will be given, the, those that register will be given the recording so they can listen to it for seven days. So if that time period doesn't work for you, that's okay. You'll have it available for seven solid days so you can really listen to it. And it's a great pre-Young Living Grand Convention seminar because it's really going to get you in that mindset of making a change and choosing that you're going to do this the right way and you're going to grow and thrive doing it. And you can register for that website. I'm sorry for that event. I'm Shannon Hudson YL.com. Would love to have you partner with us in that class. So here we go. The PowerPoint that I'm using for this particular one is the one that Young Living already provided us. This is their YL introduction. Um, I just changed the name a little bit and you can have that freedom to do it. Oh, let me say this too before we go on. On all of the PowerPoints we're giving you, they're actually going to be saved as a PDF. And what we're doing is we're including an extra title sheet that's plain and a couple of extra slides. So you can import your own pictures, put your own contact information, and you can really turn this into something you can personally use either as a PowerPoint or you can print it out um, two on a sheet and you can get them laminated and then you can take them for $7. Staples, Home Depot will spiral bind them. So you can use it as a flip chart or you can do it as a full page and it costs a little bit more to have the spiral bound, but you can do it also as a flip chart. So. The PowerPoints that we have and we're using, these are all straightforward. There's not any fancy stuff happening so that you can use them as a flip chart afterwards. So we're going to go ahead and get going. So this is Young Living Essential Oils. And I just want to introduce you to the wonderful world that we have with Young Living. And before we do, I always think it's important that you know the story of the person that you're sharing with. In my story, when I was introduced to Young Living, I really had my head in the sand. I was personally not ready to change my life. I wasn't ready for anything to happen. And I had my head in the sand. I truly believed that if I was eating a diet soda and uh, having a donut, that it worked out, that it balanced, that we were good because the two would balance each other. And that's where I was when I was introduced back in 2007. And my friend, I always call her my stalker. Her name is Sherry Lee, beautiful, wonderful woman who just totally changed my life. But she talked to me about the oils for a very long time. As a matter of fact, she kind of stalked me down. For months, she would talk about the oils. For months, because she just loved her oils. And the first oil she ever let me experience was oregano. And to this day, oregano is not a favorite oil of mine. To this day, I think it smells a little bit like dirty socks. It's just not one that I care for. And I, I just wasn't interested. And we did this for months, where she would talk about using the oils and here, smell my oils. And I'd be like, no, thank you, I'm not interested. And that was our cycle. But after, oh gosh, I would say probably four or five months, my friend finally got me to sit down and she was able to put the raindrop oils on me. Now, I will tell you, I was still kicking and screaming. I still wasn't interested. And we put those raindrops oils on me and it was just on my neck. It wasn't like my whole body, just rubbed them on my neck. And I can tell you, I complained the whole time. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that smell? That smells horrible. I complained because I didn't like it getting up in my hair. I complained because it was getting all over my shirt. I had people I had to see, oh, these oils. And I just, I didn't like the entire experience. But I'll tell you what, in a matter of minutes, we're talking about 25 minutes, my eyes were opened. My eyes were opened. I was a different woman. I had been changed from the inside out. Every cell in my body resonated with these oils. And I knew that I knew 
that I was going to be sharing these oils for the rest of my life, that there was a world of people who were just like me, right? They were just like me. They had their heads in the sand and they don't know. And I'm telling you, I still to this day, when I go out and about, I pray, Father God, take the blinders off their eyes, open their ears so they can hear and let me speak really, really simple because I know where I was. I know what I was going through at that time. And if that's what was happening to me, What's happening to everybody else? And so that's where I come from. That's my story. And it has been, it has never gone back to the way it was. My life has been radically and dramatically changed. And Young Living, we have a mission statement. And our mission st statement is we honor steward we honor our stewardship to champion nature's living, living energy, essential oils by fostering a community of healing and discovery while inspiring individuals to wellness, purpose, and abundance. That's what we're about. Wellness purpose and abundance. To me, this is what all of us should strive for. When I think of an abundant, healthy, vibrant life, this is what we're talking about. Wellness, purpose, and abundance in every area of your life. Now, our founder is um, D. Gary Young. He is our visionary. He's the one that found our farms and has researched oils for years and years and years. And it's a phenomenal story. You can go on our website and get more details on Gary Young and where he came from. And our chief executive officer is Mary Young. Mary Young partners with him. They are husband and wife, and she is loving the role of taking over and taking care of everything in our offices and making sure everything runs together. They are a perfect partnership with Mary and Gary Young. And our company started, um, technically we started in 1994, but Gary was originally introduced to oils in 1985. We have farms all over the world, which we're going to talk about in just a few minutes here. And this is just kind of a big global picture of who we are. Gary's vision when he first was introduced to oils was young living essential oils in every home in the world. That was his vision because he knew, he knew that if oils get into the home of every person in the world, that we would change the world. And that has always been his vision. And that's why I partner with and say, you know what? Everything is for everybody. I'm willing to share anything I have because I know what that means. And when you look at this picture right here and you see the different dots, each dot represents a different thing. Some of them represent our warehouses. Some of them represent our corporate office, our, um, our farms that we have around the world. So this is just a picture. Young Living Essential Oils is around the world and we are spreading that message and we're going further and faster than I think Gary even envisioned. Wellness. Young Living, to start with, in the beginning, we are a wellness company. That is the top most important thing that we are. We are about wellness. We are about changing the cells inside your body. And to do that, we are the world leader in essential oils. We are, we are the world leader in essential oils. There's nobody like us. As a matter of fact, when you look at any other oil company out there, I always find it interesting because when you go on their website or you read their literature, every one of them somewhere in their information will say, we're as good as young living, but, and I want you to know that, but that's a big deal. That, but that's our seed to seal process. That's our quality. That is our seed to seal. We stay right with the seeds. We know exactly our genus, our species. We know where our seeds come from. The cultivation, cultivation, that cultivation is everything that happens to the soil before we put our beautiful seeds in there up to the time we take our plants and we start the harvesting process. It's everything we do. Do you know what we do for weeds in Young Living? Part of what we do is we actually get down and we pull the weeds. Who knew, right? That's what we do. We give love and support and energy back to our plants. We don't put anything on them that's going to hurt them, anything that's going to get into your body. That's a big deal. That's a part of that cultivation. Even when we pick our plants for harvesting, we don't pick them just because it's convenient or it's the right time or, or we have the equipment out. We actually start to harvest when the plants are ready to be harvested. Each plant is very persnickety. They have their own um, opinion on when things need to be done and when there's going to be the most bricks, which is the most essential oil, the parts and pieces. You'll hear the word constituents a lot when you start getting into essential oils. And we don't harvest until the plant has the most constituents that it's going to possibly have for what we need. And then we take those plants and some things have to be picked in the morning. Some stuff has to be picked and, and laid out for a few days. Some stuff has to be um, taken directly from the fields and right into the distilleries. Everything's a little bit different. I know with our Palo Santo trees, beautiful tree um, forest that we have up in Ecuador. And um, I've been able to experience and be there. And those trees literally have to fall on their own. And they have to sit for years before they have all the parts and pieces they're supposed to have. It takes years for that to develop in the tree itself before we can actually go through 
and start that distillation process. So we don't add anything, we don't take anything away. That distillation process, we've got distilleries, just like we have farms all over the world, we've got distilleries all over the world. Because like I said, some of our plants, they have to be taken from the field and put directly into the distillery. So we wanna make sure we have that. And each plant is distilled at a different temperature for a different amount of time. And the entire process, so you can take this distilling and this testing as a partnership, because during the entire distillation process, Every 15 minutes or so, they take a sample of it and they test it to see what's going on with it, what's happening in the oil, what is there, what constituents, what's parts, what's pieces, what's happening. And then we don't just test in our own lab. We actually send it out for a, um, a third party uh lab to see what they say to make sure that we're on the same page and I love that and then we have seal and the seal means you know for me I don't get my oils from anywhere but directly from Young Living and when you become a member it's the same thing you will order your products they'll be shipped directly from the company and that way you know that what's in this bottle is coming directly from Young Living I know that it's been sealed and I know that there's nothing in here I know that they didn't add anything when you're buying them from different places like on eBay and in different things I see people doing I'm like gosh this is gold. I want to know that what I get is coming directly from them. And I want you to know we have an open door policy. If you want to go there and you want to see our farms, our farms are open. If you want to see the distilleries, they're there. You get to see them. You can even, when you go in our warehouses, the um, facility where we do this um, bottling of our oils and the testing, it's a glass wall. So you can watch the process. It's open door. And that's five steps. And I really, really, really wish, I wish that we had a fifth, I mean a sixth. And it's because we also, we are a network marketing, mom to mom, friend to friend, MLM company, and we have to be. Because oils, unlike anything else out there, essential oils are not common knowledge. And people don't know what to do with them. And as a network marketer, it means that we teach one another. I talk to my friends and my family, you talk to your friends and family, and that's how we get oils into every single home in the world. So what is an essential oil? An essential oil is a violet substance derived from plants containing the natural smell and characteristics of the plant itself. Um, that means sometimes they come from the branches, sometimes it's the leaves, um, all different parts of it. And most of our oils are extracted through steam distillation. They're very, very potent. And each oil does different things inside the body. I like to tell my people all the time, it's not about the smell of an oil. It's about what it does in the cell. So it's not about the smell. It's about the cell. When I was first introduced, oregano was the first one. And I did not care for oregano. Like I said, still to this day, it smells like dirty socks. But it's not about what oregano smells like. It's what is it doing inside my cells. All those parts and pieces, those constituents, they're making changes in the cells of my body. And you know what? Essential oils have been around forever. Historically speaking, you can find them in every single culture that's out there. Just fascinating research. Go home and put in your computer history of essential oils. You're going to find some phenomenal information. You can also, like I said, on this journey, you're going to need help. You're going to need some support. And there's lots of reference materials out there that can help guide you on your essential oil journey. You can go through like Amazon.com. You can check uh, Kindle.com. You can also go to lifesciencepublishers.com and there's lots of information that's going to help you on this journey so you can get some information for yourself. So how do you use essential oils? Well, I want to go on that. I want to take just a few minutes for you. You can breathe them in aromatically. I am really sorry that all my screens are messed up, guys. I'm the one that we share with people. It won't be messed up. I'm not sure what happened there. But um, on aromatically. You can take your oils and you can just open up the bottle and you can just breathe them right out of the bottle. Just deep breathe those oils. You can take them and you can put them into a diffuser and you will get a diffuser with your membership. When you get signed up, you get a diffuser with that, um, with our premium kit. And you're just going to drop a few oils in there, turn it on. You get one and I always recommend to people that you need one in each bedroom of the house. You need one in your living quarters. One in your bathroom because, quite frankly, we all know the germs that are there. And then I like to keep them in my basement as well because I like to just have that beautiful aroma when I'm down there doing laundry and keeping everything that's supposed to not be there not be there. And I like using it that way. But you can breathe them in. You can also take them and put them on some cotton balls. And um, your kids can take them in their pocket or their backpack. And it'll have that beautiful aroma. And that's breathing it in. And I want you to know that there are some schools, there are some places online, there's some Facebook groups that say that's all you're supposed to do. Breathe them in. 
just breathe them. There's aromatherapists that say that's all, just breathe them. But with Young Living, with our seed to seal process, we don't add anything. We don't take anything away. So we can use them other ways. We can use them topically. Topically means that you're going to literally take a few drops out of the bottle and you're going to rub them on location where you need them. So you can rub them on your hands, your arm, your legs, your feet, all the different places. You can rub them wherever you want. And topically, essential oils historically have been used forever. When you read about the Egyptians, they used to put oils actually in a cap and it would drip down their face in a cone all day long. So oils, topically, they're supposed to be. And massage therapists like to use them in their practice. And I will stop here to say, you're going to see a little bit of confusion on our bottles, at least for the next few months, maybe even six months. Because up until recently, we were allowed um, to list our oils as aromatic, topical, and dietary. Some of them were just one or the other, but the majority of our oils were both. So if you pick up an oil that you currently own and you see that it's listed as all three, and then you look online where we have all the changes taking place, and you'll see maybe it's listed just as dietary. Peppermint is a great example of that. Peppermint is now listed just as a dietary oil. And what's happened is the FDA, um, in their confusion, doesn't understand how you can put something on your skin and something in your mouth. So, for example, if I had lotion, which is topical, right, and I rubbed that on my arm and the FDA said, I wouldn't be able to also eat the lotion, right? That's not what we would do. So what they asked is that Young Living choose one of the ways, whether it's going to be topical or aromatic or dietary supplement. So Young Living is in the process of fixing that and making that exactly like it's supposed to be. But know this, we didn't change anything in our oils. Every drop is still exactly the same. So topically, you can put oils on. Um, and you will find that there are websites, there are people out there who give certifications, um, essential oil certifications, and they say, okay, you can breathe them, aromatic, and you can put them on topical, but don't you ever, ever, ever take them internally. And that's what they teach, and that's what they say, and it's, again, with young living, with our seed to seal process, we don't put it, we don't add anything, we don't take anything away. You can take our oils internally, and it will say on the bottle, and when it says on the bottle that you can take them as a dietary supplement, you can put them in a little veggie cap like we have here, you can put them in your drinks, you can eat them any way that you choose to eat them. And let me just throw this out before I switch. Peppermint. Is peppermint a food? It is a food. So should you be able to eat and consume it? Yes, it's highly concentrated. It's got more pe more um, uh, constituents in there than you would if you ate peppermint leaf, but it's still just a food. So our premium starter kit. Now, this is where most people get started. This right here gives you a beautiful wide supply of essential oils. This is that free diffuser I was talking about. And this kit is going to run anywhere from 150 to 200, maybe even 300, depending on what other fun, amazing things you throw in to get started with. So if you're ready to get started, you need to contact the person who sent you this video. And we're going to go over some of the oils that could show up in your kit. So this is exciting. We have lavender. Now, lavender... Um, this is a beautiful oil that helps you to unwind and relax by adding a few drops in your bath. Um, you can diffuse it for a fresh, clean scent and eliminate odors. It may help with minor skin irritations. And topically, you can apply two to four drops as directed. And then aromatically, you can diffuse this one uh, for about an hour, three times a day. So this would be a beautiful one to have like in your bedroom because it's just so relaxing and helps us to be able to unwind. Um, it's another one that would be great for in the ba the basement. You know, that smell that you get, that dingy smell, lavender helps with that dingy smell that can happen. And again, it's one you want to keep around because why? Those minor skin irritations. So that's a great one to have. Then we also have peppermint. Peppermint is one of the oldest essential oils that um, that's been talked about. It's very highly regarded. It's great for supporting a normal digestion. So in any way, shape, or form, it helps with balancing that. It helps um, with normal bowel function, healthy bowel function. It helps to maintain an effective digestive tract. Is that something important? That's a big deal, working with the belly. It also helps to support um, your system when you're exercising. So if you're exercising, it helps with support in that area. This is a dietary supplement, and you can take two drops in a capsule and you can take it three times a day as needed. So that is our beautiful, delicious peppermint. It's one you're going to become where you're almost addicted to, I promise. Then we have lemon. Now, up front, I want to tell you, it takes 75 lemons to make a 15 mil bottle of lemon. That, that is insane to me to think of how much 
is compacted down into that little thing. So you're talking concentration. That's what we've got going on. It contains the naturally occurring constituent limonene. So I've said several times throughout this that you need to go home and research. And limonene is one of those things you need to look up. Look up what it does, what studies have said, just to educate yourself so you know what you're choosing to put in, um, in your body. Um, it enhances the flavor of foods and water, so you can take this as a dietary supplement. You can put two drops in a capsule, take it three times daily or as needed. And like I said, you can drop that in your water, you can drop that in your tea. It's just a phenomenal addition to anything you're doing. You want that little boost, you can put a couple drops in your juice. It's just a phenomenal oil. This is one you're going to use a lot as well. Frankincense. Oh, these sides are so messed up. Uh, frankincense helps to uh, smooth the appearance of healthy looking skin. We just finished a beauty school um, event that we did this past weekend. And we had, you know, hundreds of women in there. And it was really interesting how many Young Living Beauty Care products have frankincense right in there. So this is the essential oil all by itself, but you can also layer it with all the other stuff we have. It has a really earthy, beautiful balsamic scent. Um, just a very uh, soothing fragrance. You can diffuse it during meditation, and it's very grounding. It has been used for forever. When you look at different cultures, it's been used in religious practices. And you can massage it on after activity. This is one that you're going to use topically. You can put two to four drops on the desired area, and you can also use it aromatically. So you can diffuse that for about an hour, three times a day. That is frankincense. And then thieves. Thieves help to support a healthy immune function when taken internally. This is an oil that you're going to eat. It's a dietary supplement. It also helps to contribute to overall wellness when taken as a dietary supplement. I said that twice. This is a food. Um, it contains uh, multiple different oils, and that list will be out there for you as well. Purification. This is another one I love to use in my basement. It's just a beautiful one for what it does for eliminating odors. It helps to freshen the air, eliminate odors. You can use it after you've had pets around. You can use it after you've had smokers around. It's fantastic for that. It allows you to enjoy the outdoors annoyance free. So this is when I would rub on my arms and my legs so that I could go out there and just enjoy and not have anything irritate me. Um, same thing with my kids. I can use a little bit of that purification all over my kids, and I know it's nice and healthy. You can also put it in ointment because it helps with moisturizing. Uh, you can diffuse 30 minutes three times a day. You can also put it on topically, two to four drops topically on the body. You can take your diffuser, like when we're having dinner outside, we'll put the diffuser in the middle of the table and we put that purification on for the same reason because it just gives you that wonderful experience without having to worry about being annoyed. Pan away. Pan away you're going to apply topically after exercise. It's a very warming oil. Um, it's very stimulating. You can, um, <laughs> can't see any of the words that are on there and I have to be cautious not to say anything I can't say but this is it's a beautiful oil that you can rub on your body it helps with warming the body and we will have a better explanation on the next one for you guys that you'll send out to people all right so stress away <sighs> see you have to take that deep breath even when you say stress away stress away is exactly that it helps it's a very relaxing essential oil that helps reduce tension I'm going to say that again. Stress away is a relaxing essential oil that helps to reduce tension. I love that. And, and it's an important part of a daily health regime. Um, it helps to promote wellness. It's got your um, copa eva, vanilla, lime, lavender, okatea, cedarwood. It's a very relaxing oil. You can add it to water and drink that one. You can also, right now it says that we can put it on topically. So you can apply that to your wrist and the back of your neck. You can also diffuse that one for several hours every single day. And if you have a time of the day where you know it's really stressful, kids are coming home and there's chaos, just diffuse some of that stress away and it helps take that chaos right away. Tea tree. Tea tree is one that's really good for cleansing and refreshing your skin. It has an uplifting, fresh, distinctive smell. It helps to maintain healthy looking hair and scalp. So this is one you could actually um, put into the hair itself and massage into the scalp itself. It helps to reduce the appearance of blemishes. That's a really big deal. You're just going to put that on topically. And this is, again, it's topical and you can do two or four drops in any one serving. Just take it, rub that on and see what it does for you and your blemishes. Citrus Fresh. 
Citrus Fresh creates a clean, fresh scent in any environment. It is one of my favorite smells. It can be worn topically as a perfume or a cologne. Um, I will put this little thing out so you know. Any of our citrus oils can magnify the sun. So if you are going to wear Citrus Fresh in the summer, you're going to want to wear that where it's not showing. Anywhere the sun doesn't shine, that's where you're going to want to apply that Citrus Fresh. Um, you can also... Um, start to say something I can't say. So um, you can rub this one on topically and you can also diffuse it several times a day. It also helps to uh, maintain the appearance of healthy skin and helps to beautify the skin. So you can take that and rub that on the skin. But again, be very um, conscious of what it does in the sunlight. So as far as the face um, in the summertime. Copaiba. Um, supports the body's natural response to in injury or irritation. So this is one that if you did have an injury, something that just happened, you, you're out playing and something happens, this is one that you would apply, um, you would eat immediately for that. It's used to help with digestion, so it helps in that area. It helps to promote overall wellness, and it's an important part of a daily health regime. Um, this is one, again, you're going to eat this, you can put it in a capsule, you can put it in water, you can put it directly underneath your tongue. This is one that we would consume as a food. Um, mark that, remember that this is one that helps with the injury or irritation as well. It's really important to remember that. Digize. Digize is one of the ones that might come in your kit, and this is one that partners really well with a product that we have called Essential Zyme 4. When you partner the two of them, they work really good synergistically together. It's perfect as a dietary supplement. You can put it in water when you're traveling abroad, so it keeps your little system functioning nice. Um, it has fennel, which has um, been used back in ancient Egypt for lots of different things. This is a dietary or topical use. So you can put a couple drops in a capsule. You can put it in the water. Um, you can put it even like on a little piece of bread if you needed to to get it down. But it's topical as well. So you could take a couple drops and just rub it um, anywhere that you wanted to. So if you're doing it for the digestive system, um, dietary supplement, you could rub it on the belly itself. Um, whoops, I skipped one. Aroma Ease. Aroma Ease provides a comforting feeling when it's applied to the neck and chest. Um, it's got a very calming, relaxing feeling to it. This has got peppermint, spearmint, ginger, fennel, cardamom. Um, this is one that you're going to use topical, and you can also diffuse it. So you can rub this on location, like I said, up the neck, on the chest, very comforting and soothing. Um, and then you can also diffuse it in your room in any area you needed to for 30 minutes, three times a day. Then lemongrass. Lemongrass. Oh my goodness, I love the smell of lemongrass. Lemongrass helps to support the digestive system. It supports overall well-being and it enhances the flavor of water and foods. But I'm going to give you this little uh, two cents from Shannon. For some people, lemongrass can be very warm in the mouth. So if I were using it in place of a recipe and it's called for lemongrass, because lemongrass literally looks like... Um, I guess chives would be the best way to say that. But you can chop that up in teeny tiny little pieces and use lemongrass in a dressing. But if you were going to use lemongrass essential oil, I would probably take a toothpick and put that in there. So um, you can put that in a capsule, and you actually would want to put a drop or two of uh, carrier oil, like V6, in that when you take that. And you could take that a couple of times a day. It's just it's a phenomenal product. You'll love playing with it when you get your lemongrass. RC. RC can be rubbed on the feet or chest before exercising to uplift and inspire. You can diffuse it to create a comforting aroma. You can rub three drops on your feet before bedtime. And in the RC, there are actually three different types of eucalyptuses, as well as myrtle, marjoram, pine, lavender, cypress, black spruce, lots of good stuff in that one little bottle. And you can use this topically. You can rub it anywhere that you need to rub that. Some people need to use uh, dilution when they rub that on. You're just going to play with that by air. And then you can also use it aromatically. So you can diffuse that for a good 30 minutes, three times a day as well. That is our RC. And then we have orange. Orange is not a lot that we can say about orange yet. So I'm just going to put out there, it's got a phenomenal, phenomenal smell. And it's one that we really need to be getting in our food. It's also in our Ninja Red um, to start with. So it's an important ingredient in there. And it's one that you can put just kind of like your lemon. You can put it in your water, and you can take that several times a day. It also is very high in the naturally occurring limonene, just like your lemon was. So when you look up limonene, know that it's also affecting your orange. 
but it's just got a beautiful aroma as well. Oh my goodness. So other products, we have oil infused products throughout Young Living because this is about layering. I said a little bit about the beauty and the skincare and you'll find that in every product that Young Living has from our shampoo and conditioner to our, our cleaner, our thieves cleaner, everything we have, we put the oils in. So from your supplements, whether you're taking by our Super C or our Sulfurzyme, we always have oils in because oils help to carry the nutrients to the cell. So they're all in there and you're layering it on your body over and over again. So when you get your kit, you're going to get a catalog in there. Take time to read through your catalog and just start enjoying and circle the ones that you think would be appropriate for you and your family. So love it, share it, repeat. Young Living is about telling other people. So we want you to love your products. We want you to enjoy them. And we want you to share it with other people. We want these oils in every home in the world. And then repeat that process over and over again. Let other people know. When you're ready to become a member, this one is all messed up. But I will tell you, um, you can get back with the person that sent you this video. And there's lots of good things. We've got a phenomenal, generous compensation plan. I did not get in Young Living to make an income. I had no idea. I did, had no expectation that I would be able to create a lifestyle becoming a Young Living member and sharing this with other people. But it's been a phenomenal lifestyle for us. Um, as a member, you get 24% off the price, which is a nice deal. We also have a program called Essential Rewards. We're going to talk about in just one quick second. We've got all kinds of great things we do, education, recreation, all kinds of awesome tools that's a part of being a member with Young Living about joining that family. And one of them is a sense of community. You get to hang around and be with other like-minded people. And there's just such security and freedom in being with people that have the same mind uh, thoughts that you do. Then our Essential Rewards program, how that works is you're going to fall in love with our products, right? Love it. And when you do, when you place your orders, we have something called Essential Rewards. And this is the company's way of giving back to you and saying thank you for you partnering with us. So for the first six months that you are on Essential Rewards, which means you can go in, you can pick whatever items out of that catalog you circled that you want, put those all in there under Essential Rewards, and the company is going to give you back 10% of your order in month one through six. So every month you pick what you want, you put it in the computer, it gets sent out on that date, and you get extra points. And that percentage that goes into your account, you can use for free products after your second month. So you can use them for anything that you want. That's very exciting to me. When you, um, for seven to 12 months, keep that Essential Rewards order, you get 15%. When you go over that 12, so you're in month 13 and beyond, Young Living is going to take 20% of every single order that you place and put it in an account that you can use for free products. And I assure you that's a big deal. But not only do they do that, everybody that's on Essential Rewards gets discounted shipping. Discounted shipping is a big deal. I like to save on shipping. Anytime I can save something, I'm all about it. You also get exclusive bonuses. So Young Living every month is going to run these specials. And you want to make sure you go on the website and watch the specials. So they're going to say if you place a, say, 180-point order, you're going to get this, this, and this free. So you get $60 in free product for that 180 but you're still getting your 10 15 or 20 percent on the cost of the order that you get put into an account. So they do all kinds of bonuses, and there's always something extra that people that are in Essential Rewards get that other people do not get. So I love that. Lots of good things. And you also get a little bit that's called priority. Priority service. And that means if we start to run low on products, and I guess I should say this up front, you're going to fall in love with our products and there's going to be something that you desperately want and you're going to go online and you're going to find it's out of stock. And so I have to warn you ahead of time, this is going to happen. It's going to happen a lot because everything Young Living has grows. Everything we have grows. It comes from the soil and everything has a season. And if we did not have enough stock to get us through to the next season, we're out of stock until the next season. We don't call 1-800-HELICRISM and just have them ship on out some helichrism. We go through that process and we only have the best of the best. So when you go on there and you have that frustration because your, oh, let's say Valor isn't in stock, that's okay. It's a time to be excited because you know that our standards are higher than the dollar. And what that means is we don't just give you a bottle of something to sell you something. We only give you the best of the best. So go in there knowing that that can happen. But when you're on Essential Rewards and they start to run low, 
you will get your order before somebody online is able to place that order. So that's just a little bonus. Now, it doesn't usually give you much time because we're such a big company now, but it might give you an extra day or so over somebody placing a regular order. Just an exciting bonus. That's a part of our program. It's open to everybody. I highly recommend that you partner with that to get your stuff. This is your life. This is your health. Be empowered. Every day, every moment of every day, we have a choice. We have a choice of what we're going to use, how, what we're going to eat, what we're going to put into our body, what we're going to do with our time. And Young Living is a piece of that pie. It's a part of your health and wellness. And we want you to be inspired. We want you to know that you know that you know that our products, our health is number one. And you, you can change your life from this moment forward and the lives of the people you come into contact with. Um, there's lots of research studies. I went ahead and put these on um, a slide real quick for you so you can look up different places you can get information. Again, you can go to Amazon.com, uh, Kindle.Amazon.com for those of you who like to hear stuff. Then there's Life Science Publishers. There's lots of places out there. You can even just Google, research online, type in, you know, whatever it was, the limonene and see what it says and, and start your journey. Start educating yourself and finding out what's best for you and your family. Thank you so much. We will have our next call next Wednesday, and we will have the correct version of the uh, wonderful world of Young Living where it's all done properly, and it will be 15 to 20 minutes um, posted hopefully by tomorrow for you guys. And remember, we've got the boot camp starting tomorrow. So if you really want to start building this as a business, jump on board with us, but come prepared to learn. Get your um, ULA Fitness, your ULA Field, Get your abundance going, magnify your purpose, bring some oils, bring paper, pencil, and get your calendar. Have your calendar ready for that as well because we are just going to help you guys just tear this up. Thank you so much. I am blessed that you were on the call with us.